Hey, it's Rachel, and I have been asked a lot lately, how do I get my kids to do chores or do things around the house that they're supposed to do? And I love this question because I do really think it's important to get kids to contribute to what has to happen to keep a household running. Not only because it helps us out, you know, a lot of us are not parenting the way we want to parent and we're miserable because we are so busy and overwhelmed. Getting kids to contribute to the household chores can actually help with our overwhelm, but also kids who do chores tend to feel better about themselves, believe it or not. So I'm a big believer that we do need to have chores assigned to our kids and that we do need to motivate them to do the things that they don't feel like doing. But the question becomes, how do we get them to do that? And I'm actually not a big believer that we have to pay them to do their chores or that we connect in any way payment and whether they do chores or not. In my family, what we do is allowance is separate, and that's how we teach our kids money management. Chores are just something you do because you are part of the family, and they have nothing to do with money. So how the heck do we motivate kids to do their chores if we're not paying them to do it or if we're not taking away allowance if they're not doing it? Well, I have a couple of tips for you. And the first is to be consistent with when you expect the chores to get done. As much as I think it's important for you to give your kids a little bit of control, kids aren't the best with time management. And so you may say, well, I don't really care when you get the chores done, they just have to get done. Well, kids are gonna leave them until the last minute and they're not likely to do them because they just don't think about them all the time. So when you say, for example, in our family, we say we do certain things on Wednesday nights and we do certain things on Sunday. So in our house, Sunday is cleanup. We clean up all of the clutter that has accumulated over the week. And we do this every single Sunday. And they come to expect that that's what you do on Sundays. You just clean up. And I remember I told this to one mom who started being more consistent with her son in when he had to do the cleanup. And he, she overheard him telling one of his friends, I'm really sorry I can't come over tonight because tonight is the night we clean up. So when you are more consistent, it is not that your kids get happy about cleaning up. They never do. But they just come to expect it and they resist less. So the first suggestion, again, is to be consistent. The second is to be on their side when it comes to chores. So much of the time they say, I don't feel like doing it. We become angry and resentful. We say things like, well, I don't feel like doing all the things I do around the house. We want to be on their side, and there are a couple of ways we can show that. One is that if you are expecting them to do chores at a consistent time, maybe you can do what you have to do at the same time. So maybe all of you clean up on Sundays. Maybe they're cleaning their rooms and you're cleaning the clutter that you wanted to get to. So doing this as the, at the same time, it's just sort of a sense of this is what we do as a family. We clean up and you it's more of a connective moment than a you have to do this and getting angry with them. So you don't necessarily want to judge them. You want to maybe even do it with them. The other thing you could do is teach them some tricks for how you get through chores because truthfully, you probably don't want to do them either. So being on their side also means teaching them how you get through it. Maybe you listen to music or maybe you break big chores into smaller pieces so that you can handle them. Or maybe you have to give yourself a reward. Or maybe you have some hacks, some cleaning hacks. Share these with them. And you can even complain with them. You can say, I don't really feel like doing this either. This is how I get through it. So you're really being on the same team with them instead of against them and getting frustrated when they complain about it. Because you know what? They are going to complain about it. They're not happy about it. But that doesn't mean that they're not going to do it. And if you are consistent and if you are on the same team, they're actually way more likely to do it and no money is involved. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at rachel at rachel-bailey.com. If you want more solutions for motivating responsible, resilient behavior in your kids, feel free to check out my parenting academy at rachelbaileyparentingacademy.com, and I will see you next time.